Hey everyone, this is Manshark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, and this is Alpha Protocol. We are, of course, Michael Fortin, standing here next to our lovely water feature. We're in Rome. Um, pictured here. Kind of looks like some sort of. This reminds me of like Dark Souls. Like just that sort of design. Where everything seems to be in a con like a concentric ring. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we are a secret agent. And we have been burned, I guess you could say. So first thing we need to do is check our email. Of course. Alright, so we've got a few things here. Um... Mina, says, Mike, the agent's burning, plenty of taxpayer money looking for you. I'm pretty close to just filing a sexual harassment claim against Darcy. Should have done that a while ago. An alias of mine I was using on assignment just got slated for a severe audit. Now I have to hack into a treasury service to correct the problem. That last paragraph was an ill-conceived attempt at small talk. I realize my problems are pretty trivial to what's going on with you. Trust me when I say I'm doing everything I can to keep the agency off your tail. Anyway, if you have a moment, let me know how you're doing. So, our reply today can be terse, which is one, Mace Darcy, spray or medieval kind. Two, just claim your alias made a lot of money. The president pulled funding from the IRS so we don't have a manpower to actually investigate rich people who cheat on their taxes. True. Three, how am I doing? Busy. Too busy for small talk. I appreciate all your help getting situated, but I need to stay focused. That's kind of a shitty response. Joking. We have to show him on the doll where Darcy mentioned he'd touch you. That sounds pretty traumatic. Why don't you tell him there's been a verified sighting of me in Siberia? I can't promise that you would be the victim of polar bear rape. It should keep him out of the office. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's jokes and then there's jokes. Things are going well enough. You know, there's this little problem with my former co-workers wanting me dead, but it's something that guns and a drinking problem can't solve. Well, be casual. Mina, well, being shot at is always loads of fun, but at least I have a well-appointed safe house wherein I can perform unlicensed surgery on myself. Have a private pride a bullet from your gut with a pair of tweezers? Good times. I appreciate your help so far. I've got a laundry list of leads to follow up on. If you've got any more info for me, I'm all ears. I think that's the one we want. That's kind of nice. Yes, we'll send out one. Uh, Shahid has my email. Mr. Fortin, if you're reading this, you escaped Saudi Arabia. You have had time to think on what has happened. Your government has branded you a terrorist. You will be hunted as I have been. They will not take you alive, and they will not allow you to spread word of the missiles that were sold to me. Consider this. Whoops. Consider this. Your enemy is not al Samad. Your enemy is Halbeck and its allies elsewhere in the world. They have suppliers in Moscow in, and in Rome. They spit on our beliefs even as they deal with us in exchange for bombs and support. They move forward in Taipei, all described in the information I have given to you. Research for dossier of Henry Leland. Dig deeply into the information on Halbeck Corporation and their master, and you will find our common enemy. Leland is a hollow man, one who respects no boundaries, chained in the accumulation of power purchased in blood. From what we've seen of him, he does look kind of like a hollow man. He looks a bit like the, uh, the G-Man from the Half-Life series. Uh, you'll not hear from me for some time. We will meet face to face again at a time of my choosing. Only then shall I give you the help I promised. I am a man of my word, and as you could not pull the trigger on me, that marks you as a man at least willing to listen to reason. Sure. And from Scarlet, the journalist that we met on the... Um... <laughs> on the plane here. Hey there. Yes, I'm e-stalking you, but don't get a big head about it. How did I find your email? Well, secret agent. It took some work, but let's just say it would be much easier. She doesn't believe it. We're a spy. Much easier for random redheads to stay in touch with you if you stepped into the 21st century and had a social networking presence. Still, the fact you don't is actually a point in your favor. Maybe I'll wait for a cranky vice president to out you before I buy I'm a spy line of yours. Yeah, there's supposed to be... Okay, this is actually a uh, string formatting issue. That's obviously supposed to be before I buy comma, like, quote, I, m spy, end quote, space. What's happened here? Because the, they would have been using double quotes there, because you can still see the single apostrophe here. The double quotes for whatever coding language they're using here look like they're escape characters. That's really interesting, actually. I don't, I don't know a language where double quotes are escape characters. I only know, um, 
what is it, forward slashes. Anyway, I've been in and out of Taipei for a few weeks working on a story. If you're in the area and I'm in a fist fight with a man who throws a, throws a bladed hat, drop me a line. Just make it a little better than your last one, Agent Fortin. Sure. Alright, um, let's check the clearinghouse. I've got a bit of money. Looks like all we can get is ammunition, though. Oh, and some intuition. Okay, so we've got two missions. Identify Gibral Albara at Chateau and Bug CIA listening post. So for this one, we get a bit of dossier information. For this one... Yeah, I don't know. We'll get both of them when it comes to it. Okay, we get a bit more info on the CIA and informational ladies in hacking and sabotaging their computers. Yeah, okay. We'll do the Chateau one first, so we'll buy that and we'll buy that. Alright, we've got some dossier information. Let's check it out. Um, I don't think it was on anybody in particular. I think we already had all the information on Halbeck that we've read so far. Yes, we have. We do have a veteran combat initiative now. Um, they're fine. I mean, they're not great. They're bad for us, but, you know, it doesn't matter. This is who we're after. Gibral Albara. Literal translation of his name is Gabriel the Innocent. Believe to be a cell leader for Alcimat in Rome. Little information exists on the target to all accounts he values his privacy, which is strangely at odds with his extensive social network. In the past, his safe houses and residences have employed an extensive surveillance system. It's guaranteed that common routes into his compound will be heavily monitored by cameras and armed guards. Uh, all due caution. Yep, 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 yep. He's a practice socialite, and while he is difficult to track at most times, he tracks many noteworthy figures in Europe and beyond, many of them well-connected. Uh, okay, so don't harm his guests. Alright, I think we've already got everything we have on Leland. We've spoken to many people in Bay Oil, we're fishing the travel, that's what they do. Okay. And just check the service record to make sure we didn't get any free money. We did not. Okay, guys. Um, oh, yeah, we survived Operation Desert Sphere, Spear, so we got plus five endurance. That's good. Let's check our loadout, and then we'll go and see what we can do. So we've still got a SWAT utility armor. That's good. That's all fine. I don't think we've got any... Yeah, we don't have any magazine or accessory. Oh, we do have an accessory here. Internal pistol magazine reduces recoil control, increases ammo capacity. Um, I'm fine with the ammo capacity of our pistol. No sights for our shotgun, no magazine upgrades for our shotgun, and no access. No. What is Why isn't it letting me pick accessories? Oh my god. Okay, it's having a little bit of a wig out there. Okay, so we do have the option for a vented shotgun action, um, which will increase recoil control and reduce damage. I think we're going to equip that, just because it's a slight reduction for a moderate increase. And let's exit. Shooting range block, I haven't seen that one before. Score. I think she custom framed it just for me. Oh, nice. Yeah, very good. Okay. We're going to identify Chibral Albara at the Chateau. So Mina is our handler, obviously. She's the only one who'll talk to us. A plus 15 endurance. Uh, so Chibral is hosting a fundraising banquet at a Chateau in the Italian countryside. Infiltrating shouldn't be too difficult, but once you're there, you need to scan them one by one to identify him. You will be equipped with a sniper rifle. You should only need it if you encounter resistance. It's got a digital scope. Can upload images of targets to your handle and check for a match. Once we identify him, leave or deal with him as we see fit. We've got faster identification of suspects. That's actually going to be really handy. Okay. You in place? Yep. Got a good view of the estate where this meeting is supposed to take place. What now? Albara's our target. He's 
supposed to be here tonight. Well, glad I brought this rifle. But what's the deal with the scope? It can transmit images to me in real time. Aim at someone, and I'll run their picture through the database. See if we get a match. The longer you focus on a target, the quicker I can make an ID. The ID is all I need. And if the target's a scumbag, I take him out? That's your call. If you decide to shoot, just make sure you don't do it if the target's inside of a camera or another person. We don't know who Albar is meeting, so taking anyone else out may have repercussions, depending on who their friends are. Do we have a zoom option? <clears throat> Let's just check the uh, controls real quick. Scope zoom, F. Okay. Did it do anything? Nope. Maybe it's a different... Aim weapon is right click. Change camera view as V. Oh, we have a camera view. Nice. Yeah, that's it. Alright. Okay, we do. Oh god, this is twitchy as hell. Owns a sports car dealership in Naples. Does a lot of international business, but no criminal record. Not our guy. So it kind of tracked. Ah. At least it holds. Once it locks on, and once I get 100%, it locks on. Made a name for himself last year with a controversial exhibit in Paris. Some local juvenile offenses, but otherwise he's clean. Not our target. and stay still. And nobody. Looks like the guards are clear. Moving up to the next position. <laughs> In position. All right. Let's begin. Okay. Private security. Ex special forces. Not our man. But definitely a professional. He planned and led the assault that took back the hijacked British jet last year. I remember reading about that. Should I get an autograph for him? No. I work for the infamous Mike Thornton. Compared to you, he's small time. Wow. Ah, oh, jeez. Come on, read him. Dutch Flower Baron. He's suspected of dipping into the drug trade, but that's all I've got. Nothing really incriminating. Oh my. Well, she's a little underdressed. Definitely a cold night from the looks of it. All right, Mike. <clears throat> Calm down. There's a guy up here. A Spanish celebrity talk show host. He's a known meth user. But nothing related to financing terrorists or arms smuggling. There's got to be someone... Wait, did we do him? Yep. There's got to be someone down here that she's doing doing the dancing for. Oh, hi. No, that's that guy. Oh. Oh, but... <laughs> okay. catch the news later. Right, <laughs> we'll make it. This guy, I don't think we've done him. Security guard. He's clean. Cool. I'm in position overlooking the chateau. A lot of guests tonight. I see. Might be very <clears throat> careful. I know. I don't want a mob after me before we have a target. Ah, oh, jeez. It is so twitchy. He's a curator for one of the museums in town. His latest exhibit on the Crusades has drawn some fire, but otherwise he's clean. Oh, I think that's our guy. Maybe? He's a cop in Rome. Nope. Must be moonlighting as a bodyguard for one of these guys. Well, he's allowed to do that. Oh no, it's the same damn character model. Okay. 
God damn. Apologies for the twitchy camera work, guys. This is just really, really sensitive. Right now on corporate involvement in the Middle East. Oh, is any good? I'm waiting for the movie. Anyway, nothing on him. That's a bit hard to pick that guy up. We'll have to come back to him. I think there was a couple up here. Well, I don't know what Hayes is doing. That's Albara. That's him. Take him out. Hold on. A lot of State Department and Interpol records. State Department says he's dirty. Interpol says his finances are legitimate, though. And... Mina, do I take him out? None of these State Department records are sourced. I can't tell where they came from. Or when. Best I can tell, their intel was added to his sheet a few months before you left for Saudi Arabia. He's a member of Al Samad, right? I don't know. I'd say yes. But, but I might be wrong. You can take him out or we can abort. It's up to you. Let's check our intel. I'm leaning towards not shooting the guy. Whoops. Desire of privacy versus his extensive social network. We're at odds with each other. Recognizes the need for networking is promoting himself, but also in rigidly controlled conditions. Unlikely to meet guests at the gate. Once they're inside, he often has the seventh of guards handle formal escort procedures. Any attempt to reach him requires getting through several layers. Yep, 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 yep. Um, ch 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 he's a confirmed cell leader. While his sympathies clearly lie with a terrorist organization, the State Department has implicated him in various financial corruption scandals. This information doesn't match Interpol's financial records on him. Strangely, the evidence was added to his file a few months before Operation Desert Spear was set in motion to deal with Shahid. That sounds suspicious to me. He might well be, you know, on board with the whole terrorist thing. But... Ah, uh, we'll stop scanning. That's fine. Ah, uh, we're going to abort. I'm not going to... I'm not going to take the shot. I'm aborting the mission. All right, Mike. Yep, four out of four objectives. No money. <clears throat> yeah, we have a message for us. Okay. Well, that was a quick one. What's that beeping noise? <laughs> Not suspicious at all. Let's go check our email. Might have time for a second mission today. Alright, Jibril Albara, if you stalk a man to Mr. Fortin, if you stalk a man of political and criminal connections, kill him before he uses his contacts to track you down. I know that you were lurking outside the chateau, but I don't know why. Consider my interest piked peaked. I refuse to let you intimidate me. Let's meet face to face. See if you have the guts to kill me in broad daylight. Meet me at Cafe Triunfo. We're going to reply. Uh, yep, search is general. That's not a bad idea. Sorry, if you want to meet. Let's investigate. Yes, yeah, so we send out one to Mina. Uh, Michael, I wasn't writing about any mission parameters per se. Just wanted to know how you're doing. Seems you're holding up well. You know me. I've read your dossier a dozen times over. And I'm not really worried about you. Just curious, I guess, because you're in such a unique situation. And I have no idea how I'd handle it if our places were switched. Anyway, I'm busy looking through all agency log files. Looking for any signs of premeditation on Operation Let's Screw Over Mike Fortin. Snazzy title, eh? I did find something kind of interesting. One of the founders of the... Alpha Protocol Agency got to start offering Operation Northwoods, a plan in 62 to start a war with Cuba. One of the key steps in the plan, make it look like Cuban shot down a passenger plane when it was in fact CIA operatives doing it all along in frame of the Cubans. Fortunately for the free world, this little plan didn't happen. Now, I'm not saying this is an old plan coming to life in present day, nor am I saying Shahid was a CIA operative, but I'm starting to think that not only was fiasco in Saudi Arabia a total setup, but it's something the US has done before and will likely do again. And got an intercept from Roystridge, I thought you might like to read. To Sean, 
Need you to keep an eye out for Fortin, but don't make any sole activity. We've got another operation on the drawing board, I'm going to want you on that crew. But if you keep chasing leads on Fortin, you're going to make it really hard for me to reserve you a spot as point man. Consider that each time you come and go from the facility, there's two days of downtime for sedated transit, plus a few days of time in flight as you follow whatever tip you received about Fortin's whereabouts. Stay focused, Agent. You've got a lot of potential. I know you want to bring him in and win points with me. You can win my respect by being ready when I need you. Probably still no money on the clearing house. Yeah, we don't have access to the clearing house yet. All right, except for just basic ammunition. Um, actually, there was one thing that we could use the clearing house for. The CIA li um, listening post stuff. So let's just buy those. So we get some more dossier information. Oh, and a perk. So I think, yep, when we're 100% with CIA. Agents in the field, more athletic than their desk-bound contemporaries, no match for professional soldier, basic training in hand-to-hand, -hand, instructive to avoid close quarters at all costs. Uh, they're trained to listen for openings in the enemy's defense, namely the reloading of a weapon. Um, the common training exercise has them seek cover from a gun of superior firepower and time their return fire when the gun reloads. And our perk, oh, we leveled up as well. There we are, Profiler. Ah, plus one AP for completing our fifth dossier. Um, alright. Well, I think we're gonna buy another rank in, um... <coughs> excuse me. Another rank there, and we might just get the next rank in Stealth. Alright. So now we reload much faster, allegedly. Okay, let's go bug the CIA listening post. Um, I've been set up in an abandoned apartment building. Their agents are running an investigation at Alcimen in Rome. They like they have useful intel. Infiltrate, download, plan a bug in their system. If possible, avoid detection and do not engage American agents. This is going to be a bit of a test for our usual stealth antics. We do have tranquilizer rounds, don't we? I'm in. Seems pretty quiet. It is a listening post. The CIA's upstairs, and they probably have a guard in the lobby, so keep an eye out. Will do. Going to take a quick look around. Silent running could be very useful for us. Um. Yeah, tranquilizer rounds. Thank you. And. Okay, so there are a few of them around. Well, let's raid the place while we're here. Ah, nice. Cut video feed. Oh. Cable's cut. Huh? What do you mean, static? Alright, go check downstairs. Probably blew another fuse. Remember, we can non lethally take people down. Flashlight. <clears throat> I think it's E instead of space. Go, 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 go. Yep. <coughs> so that's just a normal takedown. He is not killed. We just gotta hope he doesn't get back up. Well, this is a nice place. Looks like the alarm panel. Yep. Uh, it also looks like our um, awareness ran out. That's fine. Mike, it looks like the third floor camera. God, that was kind of by a dummy console on the second floor. If you can find it, you can loop the feed and sneak past. Ah. We should probably have a look at the map, huh? Okay. Sure, that's a real helpful map.
We can still use chain shot because we're using um, tranquilizer rounds. Ooh. Looks like we found some uh <coughs> consoles. Okay, so that's that one, and I think this one is down the bottom, I see it. Beautiful. And now this. I see one of them. There. Where's this one lurking? Ah, I see it. Probably not going to get to it in time, though. Accessing Got it. the database <clears throat> and downloading the software. All right. Receiving. We're good. Listening in on the listening post. Gotta love this job. Oh shit, we hit level 7. Well, let's deal with that. Alright, 10 points to spend. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna blow through it on sabotage to, so we can get up to this one. Bye. So we've got overclock, which lets us basically do more with a damagey thing. Um, not exactly sure what this one. Oh, we're immune to damage from our own gadgets. Well, that's handy. And now we steal 50% more money when hacking. Cool, we can get more of it later on. Yep. Now I know there's a guard upstairs. I'm also pretty sure that that's our only way up. So I'd like to just sort of hang out here for a little bit, <coughs> let um, awareness recharge, so I know where the hell he is. God, we're stealthy as hell. Look at this hat. This hat is just made for stealth. Okay, there we go. Where is he? Above us? Yep, right above us, right there. I don't know his route, so we'll just have to... Yep, okay, he turns that way. I don't think I can shoot him through this, that probably doesn't work. Then what does he do? Okay, he just kind of stands there. <sighs> okay, I think we hit the wall. Turn. Okay, this is alright. We disabled the camera, so don't worry about that. Now he's going to turn this way. No, he's going to go into there, okay. See if we can make it around here real quick. Nice. Um, I'm kind of fine of him being active for the moment. Ooh, there's stuff over here though. Money. Oh, we got information on Mino. Well, that'll be handy. Uh, not service record, sub. We want intel. We're only 50% complete. She's with the NSA for several years before coming to Alpha Protocol. They asked her to join out of college right after a calculus professor told a friend of the NSA about her math ability. The reviews at the NSA brought on above average to outstanding. Eventually decided the work was not for her and resigned. According to records, Alpha Protocol contacted her the hour after she placed a resignation letter on her superior's desk. Uh, yep, yeah, sure, sure. Okay, there's Control definitely more stuff from the inside. There. No other entrances I can see. Looks like the only way to get it to open is to get them to open it. I'll think of something. Hmm. 
We do need to take this guy out out here, I think. He's not aware of us, so let's hack their emails. You know, like you do. Wait, no, that's that one. I think I see it down here. Got some money. <sighs> okay, from Terence Granger to Vince Foreman, AP. Do the letters AP mean anything to you? And no, please, oh please don't bring up your porn-inspired interpretation of whatever the letters might mean. I might be hallucinating, but I was running skims on the echelon, and I could have swore I picked up a ton of emails of AP in the subject tags. As soon as I looked, they were gone, like someone yanked them out of a filter just as soon as I saw them. As I type that, I realize how insane it talks. Sounds. <clears throat> anyway, let me know if that makes any sense. Oh, and speaking of eavesdropping on emails, you might just want to tell your wife about your girlfriend, because, well, if you're a sailor with a girl at every port, she's a girl with a sailor on every ship. And seriously, that woman sends the filthiest emails I've read, and I read everyone's email. <sighs> hey, honey, can't wait to see you. Only another week. I can't believe they sent you to South Carolina. I mean, really, they should pay you double for having to set foot in that god-awful place. He's in Rome. When are you going to retire and stop traveling all the time? I mean, it would be one thing if you worked for the government and they sent you to exciting places like Istanbul or Rome, but can't you sell aluminium sheds without having to go on month-long business trips? Oh well, I miss you. Vince! Vince, what are you doing? <coughs> it's bad form, Looks Vince. Looks like an air conditioning duct. Too small to fit through, but... Chop, chop. <laughs> Oh, we got a perk. Black Belt. Hmm, we do plus one damage in CQC. Okay, so there's an air conditioning duct back there. But we just want to check out this other room over here, just in case there's some good shit in there. Like computers to hack. Uh, where is it? I see something here. Is that? That's this one. And this one. They've made a shorter sequence, which makes it harder to see. I definitely do not see this. Mike, they're calling in reinforcements. Whoops. We'll be fine. Damn it. Ooh, lots of stuff here. Uh, look, make this easy on yourself. <sighs> We're gonna have to hand to hand them. Or we could use our trigger uh tranquilizer rounds. That's probably gonna be better. Find out where they are. Yeah, there's a few of them. I don't know if they're actually running in here though, or just running around. They look like they're running around. Let's try hacking this again. Okay, there's a BB there, I see it. This one. <clears throat> oh, jeez, I absolutely do not see it. There. there it is. What do I get for that? Nothing. Okay, cool. Don't know where he is. Awareness isn't back yet either. One, two, three, four. We're really waiting on awareness to come back. 
because I'm sure there's one more out here with me. Good thing I remembered we have the Trank rounds, huh? Okay, a couple more. One down there. Is he coming up? Someone there? They'll fall down anyway. Tranquilize around should do that. That's the other guy. Hi, what's up? Yeah, good. Right, let's check out that air vent. <coughs> I saw it do the trick. What are you doing? Mike, don't kill them. There's got to be another way. Just giving them a scare. A little something I learned in third period science. What the hell? Fuck this shit! Third period science, apparently. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That one's locked in. I see this one. It is... There. Okay, from S. Roberts to Terence Granger, okay, a bit more on Subject Albara, I found out some operative that was willing to talk after a few minutes of fake drowning. He tells me Albara is some kind of academ academician, <laughs> okay, he doesn't know what field of study or university, he wants things for certain, he's verified, the prior contact claim that he's operating in and around Italy, I'm sure a simple check for universities in the area should turn up information on him, I'll update you if I extract more. <coughs> We have a curveball rumor of a rabid asset operating in our sector. Contact is unverified and claims to be a deep mole. Gave us a valid confirmation code, which makes this rumor actionable. We're going to do this one by the book and not take any chances, so I'm operating an internal threat audit. The case is open as Georgia. Send any leads or information to that subject docket. Uh, first thing we need to know, agency. Contact didn't give us full details on who this spy was working for. CIA, NSA, MI6, Mossad, assume anything. See, wasn't lying when I said grasping at straws. Um, in case this is one of ours, move all dispatches to need to know dissemination lists until further notice. That's ours, by the way. Now oh, we got some money. Anything else in here? Hmm, pizza. And something in here? Ah, yeah, 35. Come on, come on, come on. Zoom, 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 zoom. Pop. Drop some money. Check it out. I'm sorry, did... Did one of you see something? No, you are still blue. He's yellow, though. <laughs> Limited bloodshed. Okay. <coughs> Wrong, we wanted the service record. Subdued 50 opponents of non lethal, both certainly violent and entirely painful methods, plus 10 endurance. Very nice. I see him down there. Can we get a line on him? Yep. And this guy down here, he is kind of looking this way, which makes it very problematic for us. Hmm. Alright, we're just going to have to quick shot him. So you stand up. Actually, we'll crouch as far as we can. Because you never know, we might be able to get away with not doing it. Nah, he's literally standing to face us no matter where we go. Okay. I'll check it out. Probably could have gotten away with one, but you know. Ooh, shit. Okay, let's get out of here.
and none the wiser. Uh, yeah, avoid detection and not to engage American agents. We kind of did engage American agents. Um, but we also got a couple of perks out of that. So let's just head back to the safe house. Get yelled at for engaging American agents. Mike, I've just detected a source within the VCI branch office doing a search for your profile. Although they've got the height wrong. Why are they doing a search now? They already found me. It looks like the analyst isn't doing it on company time. I have the workstation called up. It's using the workstation Parker used while he was undercover as a Halbeck contractor. What? The ID on the badge used to access the office is a Madison St. James. Mm -hmm. What's her role at the company? A full background check may take some time, but from skimming her dossier, she looks like a new employee. Got a picture? Calling it up now. Hmm. She's pretty. Recognize her? Nope. No, I think I'd remember. But if she's tied to Marburg, I think we've got a way to get to him after all. Okay, let's check out the uh, perks that we just earned. Oops, service record, sub, come on. Hang on. Do I get more information on someone? On Halbeck, yeah. Uh, determine the sale of their missiles to extremist groups, not become public knowledge. How long they've been doing it is unknown. They've got broader ambitions in selling weapons to fuel global tensions. They intend to manipulate world events to affect the global climate, spark real actions, and invigorate a cold war between China and the US. The extent of these plans is unknown. Disastrous consequences, etc, etc, etc. Okay. And for individuals? Yeah, I think we've pretty much got everything here. It does say we've got new stuff. Ah, Madison. Madison St. James has been in Italy less than a year. Resume on file at the VCI. Lists her as fluent in Italian and passable at a few other languages. Enough to land her a part-time job working for the VCI as a translator and file clerk. Nothing in her file lists her as being anything but professional in carrying out her duties. And I think that's it. Service record. Perks. Right, what did we get? We got something about being... There it is, professional courtesy. Now, when you encountered CIA operatives in Rome, you made sure to use non-lethal force in subduing them. 10% armory discount from Rome vendors. Nice. Go check the old email. Ooh, we got a lot here. Uh, that email address is indeed Gibral's, and it was sent from a Roman IP address. It said a dozen governments have Albara on the watch list. Unless someone's running an excellent decoy orchestration, Albara has been spotted, spotted fleeing Italy on the first flight to Turkey he could find. Pretty sure this is a setup, though Cafe Triompho is a pretty odd place to kill someone without drawing a crowd. It's your call, Mike. Uh, but I'd suggest going there and keeping your wits about you. Uh, I'm glad you were able to get in and out of a listening post without any loss of life. No doubt you have a lot of hate for the government that sold you out, but I'm glad you understand that these men, those men of a listening post are fellow citizens of yours who had no hand in what happened. Uh, a email was sent from the CIA listing post. Pete, remember the days when we were, weren't allowed to spy on our own citizens and only a jurisdiction over foreigners? I should thank those terrorists for making my job a lot of fun. On that subject, attached to the Leland bit I was telling you about. Hope you're not trying to work up a case on this guy. He's more friends in government than Washington, D.C. whore. Now don't lecture me about the insecure nature, nature of email and blah blah blah. With the CIA, we snoop on people's email, not the other way around. So that's going to be some more information on Leland, that's nice. Uh, Department of De Defense denies it, UK, Israel and Turkey all deny it. They're not just saying this because they're afraid Saudi Arabia will bitch about missile attacks on their soil, they're genuinely unsure of who fired those missiles. Best theory we have is rival terrorists. That of course raises the question, why and more importantly, where did they get the missiles? Please tell me one of your guys ordered this hit. At least then we'd know who pulled the trigger. After all, denying fault is way easier than investigating a mystery. Um, okay, this is apparently from me to me. Mr. Leland, this tunnel's ceiling collapsed along the left Fort Tovo tunnel is indeed due to faulty construction on our end. 99% sure it's due to the epoxy used on the ceiling cement. We went with short-term adhesive due to its fractional cost and a sheet came loose. Two are dead, one's injured. Don't worry, Chief. Already got the cover story rolling. Collapse took place near the entrance. And I've paid off three Moscow news networks 
to report that a truck drove along the overpass that far exceeded the bridge's posted weight rating. This fair reporting is what caused our perfectly safe tunnel to suffer a minor structural anomaly. All that's left is for me to pay off the families of the dead. I'm assuming typical death rates unless you want to authorize an exception for this one from Halbeck International. So we can send it to Halbeck directly to Mr. Leland. Found some interesting reading. Um, we basically bribe him. Uh, we send it to the black market. And we send it to Scarlet. I think we'll send it to Scarlet. Plus one rep with Scarlet. And Mina has gotten us some black dealer. Good. Some black market dealer authorization. Finally. Ah, yeah, see, we get better weapons. These are the ones that we had access to in Saudi Arabia. These are the ones that we've got access to now. I mean, we still have access to these ones, but whatever. And also a few new pieces. Yes, yeah, so composite pistol, com pistol components increases stability. Composite pistol grip increases recoil and stability. Custom grip increases accuracy. More bullets, more bullets, less stability. Less bullets, more stability. We already have the laser sight. That's actually stability versus accuracy a lighter pistol barrel that would remove our silencer yeah so we've got a lot more like access to things here same with a shotgun now I've got the Ritter group and shotguns very good with the accuracy there and of course more oh we actually have shotgun sights now very nice wait what was the um Lighter shotgun stock, what does that do? More damage, less recoil, yeah. There we go. Tactical utility armor and tactical stealth armor. That's not bad. Sound dampening on that is amazing. Anything new here? Doesn't look like it. Ten thousand to get more intel on Conrad. Okay, let's have a quick look through our dossier, or our uh, intelligence reports. Come on. <sighs> okay, his is full. Made $250 million last year between his salary and held back, investments and other unreported means, a lean year for him. Yeah, what a shame, only $250 million. Fucking hell. Profits have been in decline since 18 months into the Iraq war when contracts shifted from large-scale construction and conventional military vehicles, small size security, yet to transition to the needs of a counter-terrorist war. Yeah, made our profit of Cold War missile technology and orbital missile defense satellites. And Marburg doesn't have a good read on people. In almost all respects except for military hires, he's chosen employees poorly. He assumes professionalism and loyalty, yet doesn't test for it. But once they're Disloyal, he's quick to let them go in several ties. Gives people one chance to prove themselves, and if they let him down, he lets them go abruptly. And I think that's it. Yep. Alright, we did pick up a bit of gear in the last episode, thanks to the CIA. So let's just have a look at what's available for us here. Because I think... Mark Free Silencer. So... Let's unequip the normal silencer. Yes, yeah, so if a Mark III silencer doesn't reduce damage. That's excellent. Just checking through to make sure we didn't... Oh, we did pick up the internal. Ah, yeah, I remember we had that already. Don't worry about it. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And any... We definitely didn't pick up any new gear terms of armor. You generally don't pick up new armor. Um, digital camo. What does fitted underlay do? Improves ability cooldown. That's kind of very important to me. And the reactive polymer weave increases, increases damage reduction. 
yeah, damage reduction. With no downsides. That's fine. Hmm, do I want a new gun? Small clip, poor recoil control. So compare it to the 12 gauge. That's pretty alright, I think. We're not exactly... Like, the accuracy is pretty important. And tight shot grouping, very important to us. Or... We can get some tactical stealth armor. I think we're going to hold off on that. We must have picked up digital camo from somewhere, because that's ridiculously expensive. I wouldn't have bought that. It's very nice, i got to say. Yeah. And then for pistols, I think we're going to be alright with pistols. I mean, basic pistol sights, actually, that could be very useful for us, because that gives us um, more accuracy. And accuracy is a bit more important to us than... Um, Stability. Alright, let's get that all equipped. And then we're going to end the episode because, um, well... Yes, yeah, so the same amount of armor mods, that's absolutely fine. Sights. There we go. Fine. We can still do magazine and accessory. Let's have a quick look at the magazine and accessory options for pistols. Oops, don't want that. Get out of there. Okay, so that's an accessory. Increases recoil control, no downsides. That's also an accessory. Increases stability, no downsides. That is an accessory that is really expensive because it does massive things. Um, what else do we have? Magazine slot, more ammo, more ammo, less stability, less ammo, more stability. I don't actually know how many bullets our current gun holds. It'll be 12. Yeah. So if we want it to only hold 8, I think that's a bad option because... Um, Typically when someone's coming up like a ladder adders or something, we need to unload the whole clip into them. Oh, also we've got this one here. Ooh, that's not bad for accessory. Um, recoil control and stability. Not at the huge amount that um, the composite pistol grip gave. Or we could just be really accurate. Let's be really accurate. And I don't think we want a magazine one. Yeah, it's, it's a bit ridiculous. I mean, the customized pistol grip would be the better one. You know what? We'll buy it anyway. It doesn't negatively affect our stats. And it was only two grand or so. Yep, so now I've got 14 bullets. And the custom pistol grip. Very nice. And with that, let's go watch telly. Ah, you know what, we'll do that in the next episode. For the moment though, um, I believe that, uh, you know, that puts us in a good position. We will see what happens next time. In the meantime though, I have been Sub, you've been yourselves, later! <laughs>